Today I am replacing, maybe supplementing, supplementing my old friend here, my power supply that, wow, the original incarnation of this I made in 1975, 74, something in that range. Um, yeah, it's uh, the insides have been reworked several times, but this is my uh, power supply for my projects. Today I have gotten a new power supply. We'll take a look at that. I'll apologize. I uh, didn't wait for you. I started opening it before you were here. I um, wanted to check it out and see if I got the right thing um, and if it was going to work for me. So it comes with these uh, connectors which don't look too bad. Um, I should say that this new one is 10 amps. So one of the reasons I got this was it's 10 amps, it's 30 volts. My old one over here is uh, well, let's see, this incarnation is uh, 14 volts, 14 and a half volts maximum, and somewhere around 4 amps, so big difference. Um, the cable that came with this one has some squirrely uh, connector. Can you see that? It's one of these three prong things that have the blades, these upper two blades are in an angle, whatever. I don't remember which country that is, but anyway, I can't, uh, can't really use it. Uh, it just says made in China, but I've got a ton of these around. Uh, it's just it's got the other end is just the same as what plugs into a computer power supply, so that's uh, not a big deal. Okay, let's look at this. Um, actually, it comes with instructions. I looked at the instructions. Uh, it's it's Chinese English. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. It's it's uh, one of the things in here. It's called a protection tube. And I think what they mean is a fuse. Okay, so a fuse is a protection tube. Um, the, the box is in really, that box is in really rough shape. I mean, it's bulged all around, but the packaging is good enough to survive the trip from China. Um, so there it is. And let's do some close-ups on it. But... Uh, it is 220-110 switch back here. Make sure that's in the right position. There's a standard uh, inlet. Um, not much about it. The uh, the knobs are, you know, they're okay. They don't have a great feel, but they're okay. These are a little bit cheap, but not bad. They're going to be serviceable. And the switch is okay. So, uh, anyway, I guess we should plug it in and give it a try. Well, here it is in the place where my power supply usually sits, and as you can see, it's about half the width of my old one, uh, which is very nice. It's taller, of course, uh, but that is very good to save space on your bench top, especially when I have a micro bench top. Uh, okay, the uh, first thing I did was I plugged it in. I found myself a good U.S. power supply plug thingy, and uh, from an old computer, so that problem's taken care of. And the first thing I noticed was I have a red light on down here, but no green light for voltage. Um, and I was, I'm not terribly familiar using uh, like an amperage controlled thing. Most of the things I've used are very old and you know, you had voltage and that was pretty much it, but no amperage limitations. So what I tried is I started cranking up the voltage and you can see over here on my meter, I'm not getting anything, not getting anything here, which is the correct indication. I didn't realize that if you have the current set to zero amps, basically it won't do anything. So now you can see the green light come on up here. And what will happen is, as I start to crank this, I will get voltage. And it seems to agree pretty well with my meter, 1.1, 1.17. That's uh, within any tolerance I'm going to use it for. So the, uh, the smoke test and the initial test on accuracy is good. Uh, it's going to take a little bit of getting used to, I think, because, again, I'm not uh, familiar with this kind of thing. I'm used to using something homemade and kind of cheap, but uh, I think I'm going to like it. In the past, my power supplies have been yeah, actually pretty small, from 1 to 5 volts. I did mostly, you know, small DC circuits and what have you. This is quite a step up, and one of the hazards of having a bigger power supply is that 10 amps, if I short my jumper wires, they will go red hot and can easily start stuff on fire. So with a 10 amp power supply, it's good to have a, a limitation, but 
on higher amperages it's very easy to uh, get a short set things on fire so that's a precaution to consider when uh, using a power supply any power supply but especially one with higher amperage okay so uh, let me see if I can find some things connect to it and uh, see if we can uh, stress it a little bit and see how it performs well, let's do a quick and dirty on the oscilloscope. Uh, it's about 1.1, it's about 1.1. Yeah, it's got a little ripple to it, but uh, probably about as much as my old power supply, and I use that for uh, a lot of digital stuff for many, many years. So, yeah, overall, uh, not too bad. One of my favorite tests is just running this pump motor. This is uh, 24 to 32 volts. Right now it's running on 15. Let's check the check the current limiter. Okay. So if I limit the current too much, it shuts off. I guess that's how it should behave. Um, so this motor is made to run 24 to 32. There's 24. Try the current again. Okay, limited. I'm not sure I understand it. Oh, that's working, but it says 0.05 amps. I'm not sure I believe that. Okay, uh, I think this thing is rated to carry or uh, to take 1.2 amps. So let's crank it up all the way. This uh, 32 and 32 volts, 0 0.5 amps. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm believing that part, but okay. Um, and it doesn't seem to have any problems driving this motor. Okay, so that's a reasonable uh, smoke test for this. Well, there's nothing to see when I run this, but you're gonna, certainly you're going to hear it when it starts up. Uh, this is a 24 volt uh, water pump, and I've used it for solar projects. Uh, it's uh, running amperage is 6 amps and its startup is up to 15 amps. So let's see how this thing reacts to it. Am I going to fry it or will it be okay? Yeah, you can definitely hear that that's running. Uh, showing about 4 amps and uh, 24 volts. Uh, Okay, enough of that. Um, but yeah, I mean, it looks like it works. Um, I mean, the only question I have about this, uh, by the way, this is a long way 30 volt 10 amp power supply. I'm not getting any money from them to talk about it. I just ordered this for myself. Uh, but uh, as long as it has a long life, uh, I think it'll be uh, a pretty good deal. I only paid about 35 bucks, including shipping for it. So we shall see. It's one of these things that time will tell. Okay, well, hope you found that useful and interesting in your home DIY electronics projects.